By now you've heard the news, which was simultaneously a bit surprising, yet not at all. Anna Duggar is pregnant with her seventh child. The former reality star made this announcement late Friday night, confirming a long gestating rumor and sending the internet into a frenzy. Reaction to the news, one must say, has been mixed, with fans touching on a number of subjects and asking a number of questions. Chief among Duggar Nation's questions and reactions, Anna Duggar is only 32 years old, really? Yes, she and Josh married in 2008. Anna's now been pregnant more than a half dozen times. One can do some quick math and determine that she's had a baby inside of her womb on average for nine months every two years. She's been pregnant seven times over the course of 13 years, people. That's simply incomprehensible. Equally incomprehensible, Josh Duggar is going to be a father again? Yes, unfortunately. We try hard not to parent shame around here. Considering the challenges of raising children and our unfamiliarity with what celebrities really are facing at home, no matter how closely we follow their lives, it's just not a healthy practice. But the fact remains, Josh molested numerous young girls when he was a teenager, including his own family members. That is simply a fact, as is the fact that he cheated on Anna with random women he met via the adultery website Ashley Madison. We feel rather comfortable in saying that Josh Duggar is a bad person, with a lack of morals, with either pays no attention to his children and or sets a really awful example to his sons and daughters. The family claims he's reformed and changed his ways and all that good stuff, but there simply can't be anyone out there who takes anything the family says at face value at this point. Nor can anyone out there be excited for him to raise yet another kid. Moreover, how can the couple afford to keep procreating? This is also a common refrain, and it's one Anna apparently pays attention to and has a strong opinion on. How do you afford all those kids? Does Josh even work? One person asked Anna on social media. The very busy mother apparently reads the comments on her posts, because she responds. Yes, my husband is a diligent worker and provides well for our family. First, let's sadly note how Anna replies to a question about money by immediately bringing up her husband as a provider. The Duggars believe solely in the so-called traditional roles of the husband working and the wife staying at home. Secondly, let's dig into Anna's clapback and ask, really? What exactly does Josh do? In an era where June Shannon can spend a million dollars on drugs and totally abandon her children and still receive a huge paycheck as the lead of her own reality show, Josh doesn't get paid. Not that way, at least. Even TLC decided years ago that Josh's molestation scandal was a heinous bridge way too far. The network cancelled 19 Kids in Counting, and while TLC launched the rebranded Counting On shortly thereafter, Josh has not been on the air since. Long before Anna confirmed that she is growing baby number 7, there had been chatter that the family is in dire straits. Specifically that Josh is unemployed and his family is living in a warehouse on his parents' property. According to The Sun, it's actually Anna who is supporting her even increasing brood, as she dabbles in real estate and reportedly bought a 1.25 acre of land for $35,000 in February 2020. She later sold this property for $89,000, earning her a quick profit of $54,000. As for Josh, he previously tried to also enter the real estate game, only to be exposed as a lying deadbeat who lost a costly lawsuit and actually cost his family a ton of cash. Yes, again. Have we highlighted enough here how much Josh Duggar sucks? Because look, he does. To be clear, we don't blame Anna Duggar for lying about her allegedly supportive husband or even for sticking by his side. The way their family culture is structured, she's basically trapped in Arkansas and has no means of escaping anyway. Moreover, Jean Bob Duggar was likely sitting inches away from her with the cattle prod when she responded to the aforementioned troll. We kid about the cattle prod, he's not going to cause her bodily injury, but that's the mentality we're likely talking about. We just want to make sure everyone understands what's going on here. Josh Duggar rolls over, impregnates his trapped wife every two years, and then makes no effort to acknowledge her or assist her in any way after dropping his seed. We're happy for her because all life is a blessing, but all viewers should have nothing but sympathy for Josh's much better health and the burden she carries. 
That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.